After successfully logging into the IVG, the driver opens the Hours of Service application and sees the Status tab. At the top are the remaining hours before the driver goes into violation for any Hours of Service rule and the name of the driver whose records are displayed. If there is a co-driver logged into the IVG, that driver can be selected. To ensure driver security when there's a co-driver logged in, at any time either driver wants to view logs, the driver is prompted to re-enter a password. A green dot indicates the active driver. A gray dot indicates the inactive driver. Next to the driver's name is the current DOT, MOT in Canada, date and remaining hours until the driver goes into violation. If your company uses the workflow or vehicle inspection report applications, the driver can jump to those applications from almost any screen in hours of service. The driver may see messages showing the log status. Log update in progress, not current logs. Review and approve your logs. When the driver's logs are sent for approval, the driver sees the second message. The status screen shows how many hours the driver will gain over the next two days. Have your drivers use this information to determine if a 34-hour reset is needed. The status tab also displays the current duty status and information about that status. To edit remarks on the current status, the driver taps Remarks. To change status, the driver taps Change. Here the driver taps a different duty status. The available duty statuses are based on if this is the active or inactive driver and what features are enabled for drivers. You can define a list of remarks that a driver can specify or allow the driver to type a remark to describe what occurred during that status. If typing a remark, the driver taps in the text box and types on the pop-up keyboard. When finished, the driver closes the keyboard and taps OK. In this example, the driver is now in off-duty status. If you enabled clock in and clock out for your drivers, they may account for on-duty time away from the truck. Clock in is before the driver began driving, such as attending an early driver meeting. Clock out is used at the end of the driver's shift, such as completing paperwork in the office. When clocking in, the driver enters the time the shift began. The driver taps the arrows to the right of the posted clock in time to adjust the start time, then selects one or two remarks, or if available, types a remark to describe what happened during the status. When done, the driver closes the keyboard and taps OK. The clock out function works similarly and the driver identifies when the shift ends. The summary tab graphically shows the four main clocks available to the driver. The shortest bar indicates the hours of service rules that is next to go into violation. The clocks tab displays only if you specified on your contract that you would like to run rule sets other than the default US rules. If you're running multiple rule sets, this tab shows a summary of the driver's hours for the current duty cycle. The Hours of Service application does not automatically identify when a state or international border was crossed. While the driver is pulled over during a border crossing inspection, the driver must tap Border to indicate manually that there is a border crossing. The driver can also tap Region to identify the rule set being used. The Graph tab graphically represents the driver's duty status for the current day. The information on this tab is view only and from here the driver can see information about the selected day. The driver selects a duty status to see any remarks entered for it. The Daily Log tab shows the driver's daily duty status logs as a list. The driver can scroll among days, view info about an entry, or select duty statuses to see company info or any remarks about a duty status. During a roadside inspection, the driver can send e-rods if requested. Show the inspector mode which displays different information than the default driver view and show the header that provides additional details for the inspector. The Duty Cycle tab, named for the US or Canadian duty cycle the driver is running under, shows a daily sum of mileage, driving time, and on-duty time. Further details are shown under the Vehicle Info. From here, the driver can request the latest duty status logs from the server. The Certify tab is where the driver would view, edit, and certify logs. For more information on editing logs, see the Driver Log Edits video. The Load tab is where the driver would enter load information and view current and historical load information. If your company has integration with a dispatch application or workflow, this information may be pre-filled and the driver doesn't have to do any manual entry for each load being hauled. Because load information is a federal requirement, if no information is entered about the load, the driver is prompted to enter load information the following day or face a form and manner violation. 
If there was no load while the driver was driving, the driver may enter any characters in the load ID and use Bobtail or Deadhead for trailer number. The Carriers tab should display the carrier information as entered in the Hours of Service Back Office application. The Carriers tab and Carrier Setup in Hours of Service do not identify separate companies the driver may haul for, just divisions of a single company, like Bulk versus Refrigerated, or Hazmat versus DITS, Defense Department Tracking System. If your company has multiple divisions that are their own carrier entities, you would enter those in the Hours of Service Back Office application, and the driver would select the carrier here.